What is up everybody? Welcome to Behind the Beat. My name is Chris Langan and today we're talking about buying drums. All right, so with Christmas being right around the corner, you may find yourself in a situation where you're looking to buy a set of drums for someone. Now, you also may be watching this in the future, in the summertime, but you're also in a position right now where you're looking to buy drums and you really don't know where to begin. So I just wanted to make a video and cover a few key points to kind of help guide you guys in the right direction when it comes to buying a drum set. All right, so there's four main things that you got to consider here. Number one, do you want to buy new drums or used drums? Number two, are you a young child or an adult? Number three, what is your budget? Are you looking to spend $300 or $3,000? And number four, the sound issue. Are drums going to be a problem when it comes to people you live with or neighbors? You've got to take that into consideration. All right, so let's first talk about new and used drums. You've got a couple different options here. Now, whether you're buying new or used, you can either shop online or at your local music store. Okay, so there are websites like Musician's Friend, uh, Sweetwater. There's a handful of different websites that you can order online. You can go right directly to the drum set manufacturer and order from them. And if you're gonna be shopping locally, see what kind of music stores are in your area. I would highly suggest going to your local mom and pop shop, especially if it's a drum shop. Go take care of those guys, support small business, all right? If you don't have a mom and pop local music store in your area, then definitely check out some of your, you know, bigger uh, chain stores like Guitar Center and things like that. All right, so once you've decided where you're gonna shop, you need to figure out what kind of drums you're going to be buying, all right? And what I mean by that is a shell pack or a complete set. Drums can come in a shell pack or complete. Now, a shell pack is basically you are only getting the drums, all right? Snare, kick, and whatever, uh, whatever the amount of toms in uh, is in that certain pack. A complete set would be you know, uh, a standard five, four, five piece kit and you'll get uh, most likely a hi-hat and a crash ride, all right? Now we can get real into specifics with this stuff, but what I would suggest is if you're going to buy a shell pack, probably either already own some cymbals and stands or you plan on buying them separately. If you're gonna go the complete uh, complete drum set setup, you've got to take this into consideration that you are probably going to get not top of the line cymbals and hardware with this kit. All right, anytime you buy a complete set and it comes with cymbals, the cymbals generally aren't that great. We've, when it comes to buying a drum set, we can talk about entry level or flagship, and this kind of talks about. Uh, you know, this gets into the budget area. Are you looking to buy an entry-level kit or a top-of-the-line, you know, flagship model? I will say this. Uh, the top drum manufacturers like Yamaha, which is the drums that I have, uh, DW, Gretsch, Pearl, Ludwig, all of these brands, even their entry-level kits are really, really well built. So you're not gonna go wrong if you buy one of their lower level, entry level kits. The drums are still manufactured very, very well. These days, it's, you'll be hard pressed to find a bad kit at a cheap price. Unless, of course, you go with a no-name brand. So, while we're on that subject, let's talk about brands. Yamaha. Ludwig, Pearl, DW, Gretsch. If you're gonna buy a drum set, make sure you buy one of the bigger brand names. You gotta understand that you're making an investment here. 
you got you know whoever you're buying them for doesn't end up liking the drums it doesn't you know they don't they don't stick with it if you buy at least a decent brand, uh, brand name drum kit you can turn around and sell that kit okay for for good money if you go and buy some toy or you know no name brand drum set yeah you may have saved a few bucks when buying it but if you try to get rid of it you're not going to get anything for it so Definitely stick with a brand name. Just go with an entry level if that's the case. You've got to do the same when it comes to cymbals. Don't cheap out on the cymbals. If you're gonna go with buying a shell pack and buy your cymbal separately, look at the top brand cymbals. You've got Minel, which are what I have, Zildjian, Sabian, and Peisty. All of these cymbal companies make entry level uh, packs. You know, you can get I know uh, Zildjian makes their ZBT pack where the, you'll get hi-hats, a ride, a crash, and usually like a bonus China or Splash or something like that. Minel does the same. They have their um, HCS line. You can get a crash, ride, hi-hat, uh, usually another effect symbol. So go that route. At least if you have to turn around and sell these things, you can make some of your money back. If you buy just some no-name, cheap, you know, brand of cymbals, they're not, they're not going to th hold their value. If you try to turn around and sell them, you're not going to get anything. Okay, so as far as cymbals, Minel, Zildjian, Sabian, or Peisty. Any of the other brands are not really going to, are not going to really hold their value. The next thing you want to talk about is uh, the sound issue that we talked about before. Drums are loud, okay? Um, you might live in a neighborhood where houses are very close to each other, so you've gotta take into consideration the respect of others. Now, you may have a basement that you could put your drums in, and uh, you know, now you're not gonna bother anybody. Your family may be supportive of it and won't really mind. You know, during the day, you shouldn't really have a problem. But if you're gonna be playing the drums at night, maybe you work during the day and the only time you could play is at night, then you may want to look into buying some of the different dampening products on the market. Okay, uh, they make different kinds of rubber pads that you could place on the drums that will deaden them, dampen them, okay? Cymbals also have kind of uh, rubber type pads you can get for them that will deaden and dampen the cymbals. I do want to mention that this will drastically change the feel of the drums. They're not gonna feel the same as with no dampening. So what you might want to do instead, uh, if you can get away with it, is maybe get something like a, uh, a drum tack, okay? Drum tack is a great, uh, great product. They, they remove unwanted frequencies, so they will take, take the, those frequencies down a little bit, all right? You won't lose any tone from the drum that way. You'll get rid of some of those higher pitch frequencies, all right? They just stick right on the drum head and uh, these work the best as far as I'm concerned when it comes to the drum dampening tools. Another thing you might be able to do is throw a towel maybe over your snare when you're playing it. That'll kind of dampen it for you. If, if uh, drums, uh, acoustic drums are out of the question completely, you do have the option of buying electronic drums. I'm going to warn you that it's a whole other instrument. I don't really think electronic drums are drums. I think they're more of a percussion instrument, not, not so much a drum set. They uh, are generally made out of rubber pads or mesh heads, so they feel completely different than, than uh, traditional acoustic drums. The one good thing about electronic drums is that they're quiet. But you do have to take into consideration that you're going to need to hear them one way or another. So you're going to have to invest in either some type of PA speaker or headphones for yourself because you do need to hear what you're playing. Drum modules will generally come depending on what you spend. The lower level ones will come with, you know, maybe 10 to between 10 and 40 kits. The more higher end models up in the, you know, the thousands, they'll come with better better quality kits, uh, you know, more options as far as sound goes. If you want to get into the electronic drums, you know, aspect of things, 
I would definitely suggest going to uh, YouTube channel 65 Drums. He is an expert on electronic drums. Go check out his channel. He will be able to guide you in the direction that you want to go for electronic drums. Next up, when you're buying drums, you also have to consider the accessories you're going to need. Drum sets don't normally come with a throne. All right, you're going to need to buy a throne to sit on. Now, you're not going to be able to play drums with just a regular folding chair or chair that you might get from your kitchen table. You need to be able to adjust the height. You need something that's going to be comfortable. You have to figure you're going to be sitting behind your drums for hours practicing. You don't want to be sitting in a hard wooden metal chair. All right, so definitely invest in a good throne. They can range in price anywhere from 30 to hundreds of dollars, okay? So do some research, find something that fits into your budget. Okay, the next thing, you're going to need sticks. I use Vic Firth drumsticks. I have for the majority of my life. I think that they just make the best drumsticks. There are a lot of companies out there, so you're, you're more than welcome to do some research. I would suggest sticking with some of the top name brands like Vic Firth, Promark is another company, Zildjian is another company. When you get into the, the no name type brands, and I don't mean that in any type of offensive way, but you, you pay, you get what you pay for. So uh, you don't want to go be, you know, go buying some cheap drumstick. It's going to break. You're going to find yourself buying more and more and more of them. Okay, uh, accessories we're, uh, while we're on that topic. Bass drum pedals, okay? You might get a bass drum pedal with your complete kit when you buy it. Chances are you probably won't. If you do, it's probably gonna be very cheap, and cheaply made, and it's not gonna hold up. So you want to invest in a decent pedal, okay? Uh, learning on a very bad pedal is going to only cause bad technique so get something decent pdp is a very good entry level uh, they make a very good entry level bass drum pedal pdp also makes very good um, hardware packs you can get boom stands for your cymbals you can get like two for 60 bucks i think it is and they're double braced they will stand up so yeah you definitely don't want to cheese out on this stuff check out pdp that's a dw company they make uh, very inexpensive, high quality stands, pedals. If you have the budget to buy better gear, you know, some of the bass drum pedals you can get would be like, I have an Iron Cobra that's made by Tama. Uh, DW5000 is another pedal, uh, 9000 is another pedal I have that's made by DW. Uh, all of their pedals are really, really good. But do some research. Drum heads, okay? Chances are if you buy uh, a brand new kit, a brand new kit, the heads that come on it are not going to be very good. Um, you're going to find that they just don't sound that great no matter what you do as far as tuning them. They just have a lot of overtones. Now, that's where something like drum tacks would come in. That might fix the problem for you. But uh, on top of having something like drum tacks, you, you do really want to buy some decent heads. So, uh, Evans is a great company. That's the company I use for drum heads. Remo, Aquarian, these are all different companies. You know, when, when, when you're buying your drum kit, maybe you want to talk to the, the sales associate about heads. Generally, the rule of thumb would be two ply heads for the top, one ply for the bottom on your toms. Snare drum, uh, they do make specific bottom heads for snare drums. Now, as far as the top head goes, you can choose from a thousand different types of heads for your snare drum head. That's something that you'll just have to kind of choose on based on your preferences. Bass drum heads, same way. Um, kind of need a preference with that. So look into what there is and just choose what you think is gonna work for you. Let's see, uh, next up, as far as used gear, if you're going to buy a used kit, say from uh, Craigslist or eBay or some website. Make sure you have that person that's selling the kit send you very detailed photos of the kit. You want to make sure that you can inspect the drums, make sure none of the hardware is rusting, none of the cymbals are cracked, none of the heads are dented. Um, 
because if they try to sell you something that is way overpriced for what it's worth, you know, you want to be on top of your game and be aware of that. Buy, there's nothing wrong with buying online, but just make sure that whoever's selling it will give you very close up detailed pictures of everything so that you can see the condition of the drums. Now, if you're going to be buying used drums at one of your local shops, that is uh, usually a much better option because you can go into the store and really take a close up look at what is up with the drums. If, they're, um, if they've been taken care of, you know, if, if there's any dents, cracks, rust, don't let dirt fool you. If the drums are just dirty because they've been sitting, then that can be cleaned. You'd be surprised. They, they clean up pretty nice. It's the rust, the cracks, the dents uh, that, that, that can't really be fixed, okay? And that will bring the value of the drums down. So just be careful when you're buying used. Just like a car, you know, you want to look under the hood before you drive the car off the lot. So I will mention that some, uh, some of the websites like Sweetwater, which is a musical instrument website, they have a uh, buyer's guide for drums. So make sure you go to their website, check out their drum buying guide. It will give you a list of all the different things that come with drums, the different options, what to look for, what not to look for, and um, you should be good as far as uh, shopping online with Sweetwater. They're really good, they'll help you out. So I think that just about covers it, guys. Um, if I missed anything or if you have any questions, please just leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I know buying drums can be overwhelming, especially if you have no idea what is involved and you're buying them for someone else. Okay, so feel free to leave any questions below. I'd be happy to answer them for you. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Until next time, see you guys at the next lesson.